Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we're doing a full face of Glossier. <laughs> if you have not seen my Glossier haul video yet, I'm gonna link it down below because I feel like you might wanna watch that first, I don't know. I visited the Glossier showroom in New York and I picked up quite a few things. Some of these things I've actually tried quite a few times, some of them I haven't tried. So it's gonna be like a mixed bag. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one, so make sure to grab your cup of tea like I have here, this is my Edna Mode teacup from the Incredibles. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's just get started. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so we can get up close and personal. <laughs> so we're gonna start off by using a little bit of the Garnier Micellar Water, just because I already have a little bit of moisturizer on. My skin is so dry that if I don't moisturize it, like right after I get out of the shower, I, I dry up. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just doing this to make sure that the moisturizer we use performs like on its own. You know what I'm saying? All right, now let's open up the pink bag. I'm actually really excited that I got to fit all that stuff in one bag. <laughs> so the first thing we have here is a little sample of the Prime Moisturizer. This is really handy for me because I didn't actually buy any skincare products from Glossier except for the bomb.com. The fact that I got like a little sample of it was really nice because then I can try it and see, you know, how I feel before I buy the full size. So here it says, priming means that it instantly brings out the best in your skin so you have fresh glowing canvas that's ready for makeup but looks so great you might want to wear less. Um, good for use in morning or night. Enjoy. Okay, it also says it's great for all skin types. This comforting cream allows you to layer and build up to the perfect amount of moisture depending on climate, season, or how your skin's feeling on any given day. Which I think is kind of cool. I feel like that's like not as common of a claim. I might be wrong, but like very rarely hear that moisturizer should be built up. It's always like, oh, use this moisturizer, or use a serum and an essence underneath. It's never like, oh, just build it up, <laughs> which I mean, why is that a thing? You know what I mean? Like why isn't it more common to build your moisturizer? I don't know, but I'm excited. Anyway, <laughs> I'm the person to use my Event O Thermal. I'm um, just like my, you know, water in an aerosol can just to kind of let my skin be a little damp so everything can sink in a little nicer, like as if I was gonna be on the shower, you know? So let's open this up. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole thing. I guess we'll see. My skin is pretty dry though. Oh, whoa, okay. So this is the consistency. It's quite liquidy as you can see. It's starting to roll down my fingers. Ooh, not a whole lot of a smell. It just smells like cream. Like, you know, like no scent scent. That's kind of what it smells like to me. Ooh, it feels like almost a little bit more tacky on my skin maybe. This feels quite nice. I'm already at nine minutes in this video and I'm just applying moisturizer. How do I do this? You know, how does Grandma Meg's talk so much? <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more, tiny bit more. See where it goes. Wow, this feels really nice. Ooh. It is so glowy. Ooh, I'm gonna do a little up close. My skin looks like that like glass skin trend you're seeing around, you know what I'm saying? Like super glossy. I take it, I take it, I take it. <laughs> Let's have like a little tingling sensation going on. I do have a little bit of irritation up here um, because my vitamins did not work with me. <laughs> Try a new multivitamin, did not, did not like me. So I still have probably about like half that sachet. So I'm gonna leave it for another day um, because I don't think I need another layer. Like two layers is definitely enough for me. And I can feel it kind of almost like getting a little tacky on my skin, but I kind of dig that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so far so good. Okay, next we have bomb.com. This is the Rose One Universal Skin Salve. And this one has, has like a tiny pink tint to it. Let me just show you here. Ooh. A little hard to get it to, but there you go. Like, it honestly just kind of blends in with the pink in my skin. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Anyway, okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, I like that. There really is no tint on my lips, <laughs> um, but I don't think I needed the tint. Like, I really just wanted it for the rosy scent and like the hydration 
factors, you know? This feels nice. I like it. I do understand what they mean by it being more matte, but it definitely still gives me a bit of a glow. But it's not over the top. Like, I don't think my hair would get stuck in this, which I feel like is a pro, you know? I think we're gonna start off with eyes, just because I always do eyes first no matter what. So we're gonna use a lid star today. This is the color Lily. Yes, I know I did mention in my haul that I did buy this partially because it's the name of my dog, but I mean, I also like the color. <laughs> so this is kind of like purpley, iridescent, bit of a blue. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really cool. <laughs> of a test. I have my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm gonna prime one eye and then we're gonna not prime the other and we're gonna see how the lid star works on top of that. I feel like these lid stars have definitely mixed opinions on them, you know, um, because some people are like they literally don't do very much and some people are like, but I like that. I have tried this maybe about three times, um, but mostly it's been on top of like matte eyeshadows. You know, I put a matte color in the crease and then I put this in the lid kind of thing and it does work for that but I feel like it might be cooler on its own you know so how they say to best apply this is to apply it right from the doe foot applicator onto your lid and then just kind of blend it out with your finger so I'm gonna start off on the eye with primer so I'm just gonna lean in a little bit and let's just see okay let's just try actually oh and what I like about that it has a flat cap so it gets pop well wow. that's nice okay so it's a very sheer color, and I knew that when I bought it. That's kind of why I liked it, because I really don't wear purple very much, you know? This is what it looks like with one layer. It's very, very sheer, but there is a bit of a purple reflect. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't know if it's best on the primer. Let's do another layer and see how it does. I'm just kind of going to tap it as well and see how it layers. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if I like it on the primer. I feel like it might be a little too dry. You know, like it needs more of a greasy base. I mean, it is really pretty. You can kind of definitely see the purpley twinge, you know what I'm saying? But, mm, I don't know. Let's try without the primer. Now I'm gonna put this back in the tube because I don't want it to dry out. <laughs> and let's just see. Oh yeah, it blends so much easier without the primer, okay. That's very interesting to me. Cause usually they say like, oh, make sure to prime before putting on a cream. But yeah, I don't think I would want to prime before this. Let's do one more layer. I would always say like, start out with a little, work your way up, you know, because these do really sheer out and they go a little goes a long way if you want like a sheer look. Personally, I just like the look of it better without the primer. Let me show you up close so you can get a good idea. So this side is with the primer and this side is without the primer. Now, they might look very similar. Up close, I don't know. I just feel like it dispersed a lot nicer on the non-primed eye than on the primed eye. And I feel like it's maybe because my eyelids are a little dry at the moment. So, you know, when I put primer on top of dry, eyelids it takes all the oil out and it kind of accentuates the patchiness <laughs> yeah personally i would say stick without primer on this one but that could just be me if you have more a tacky primer like the one that doesn't dry down so much like the elf one it might be fine but i just personally would say if you can do it without primer do that and i'm sure by the end of this video we'll see whether it creases or not with out primer so yes okay next we have lash slick which is another controversial item because again i hear so many people like ooh, no it doesn't layer or some people are like wow love it it's amazing i have used this product a lot more and i do really like it i will say though you have to get used to it because it's not like a regular super volumizing curling mascara. So what I actually decided works best for me is not curling my lashes, just like leaving them as is and then applying it and going in with kind of a light hand because it is a bit more of a wet formula, especially at the beginning. I think it's kind of dried to a good formula now for me. Now people also talk about the smell. It just smells like mascara to me. It's not like a perfume. Again, it's all personal preference. <laughs> or personal experience. So again, we're gonna get nice and close. My back is not gonna love me for this video, but that's okay. <laughs> the brush, by the way, I'll give you a quick close up. So it is quite a 
plasticky brush and the bristles are quite short. It's almost like a Christmas tree. It's like a very sparse Christmas tree. <laughs> now what I usually do is just kind of look down into the mirror because I find that I can see my lashes the best, but I do make quite a weird mascara face, so I'm just warning you now. And I just lightly brush this up. Now I'm in focus, yeah. And I honestly apply it like any other mascara. I'm a wiggler, that's for sure, and a blinker, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So that is mascara. I dig it, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I love the way this mascara looks. I just think it's so fluttery and pretty. Now I would say it does take a little bit of work, but for me that's all mascaras take a lot of work. Like I can never just like, do two swipes and it's on. Like I'm always like, ooh, get the clumps out. Ooh, separate, you know what I mean? I love the way this looks. Like, can you see the difference? I just, dang. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the other eye and I'll be right back. I feel like everybody talks about, you know, the struggle with getting your eyeliner even, but nobody talks about the struggle with getting your mascara even. Like, <laughs> now with this mascara, they claim it to be, I think, um, non-flaky, water resistant. Now maybe it's just that I'm putting on too many layers, but for me it does flake, which is kind of a downside because I don't like flaky mascara, but a lot, actually I think all, <laughs> all mascaras that I've tried flake. You know, it just might be me, it probably might be the way that I apply mascara, it might be the way that I live my life, you know, like I cry when I laugh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it does tend to flake on me a little bit. Um, I have not, you know, like, worn it outside in the rain or anything, but as for like um, crying when I laugh, like seeing, you know, mascara transfer, I have not seen any of that. I've only seen flaking. So that's pretty good, I would say. But yeah, I so far do like this. I think I'm gonna do like a wrap up at the end of the video of like my thoughts so far. So yes. Now we're gonna go on to coverage. I'm gonna be using Skin Tint. I have not used this yet, except for in the showroom. But I am very excited. This is a very hyped product. Again, kind of love it or hate it. I actually feel like a lot of Glossy's products are like that because you really have to want the no makeup look to actually like it. You know what I'm saying here? Anyway, so what I keep seeing people do is just like, <laughs> you know, squeeze it down their face and then like blend it with their fingers. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have the shade Light Claire, which is actually light enough for me. I did not think it would be, I'm not gonna lie. Let's, okay, let's just, let's do this. Okay. Ooh, it feels like water. Okay, um, this like mm, does not cover. <laughs> But I knew that going into this, let's be honest. Ooh, it actually blends super nicely. Damn. Okay, let's do another couple of drops. I think I was watching someone, they said they do 10 drops of this, and I was like, what? 10? Like, that just seems like a lot, but I probably just did about six or seven, so, you know, I understand, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna put that mirror down, go in. Massage it in. This actually feels really nice. It feels slightly hydrating, but also slightly slippery at the same time. Which is a weird situation, because usually hydrating products are like really sticky, you know? This feels very different to MAC Face and Body, which is what I'm used to using in like a squeeze tube like that. Oh, actually, that looks nice. <laughs> this is like virtually invisible on my skin right now. What the heck? Whoa, like you can't even see it like on any dry patches. All right, let's zoom in. <laughs> so you can just see my skin has a really nice glow. Now, I kind of feel like that might be from the moisturizer, so I'm gonna try a little on the back of my hand and blend it out and see what kind of, actually no, this gives it a glow on my hand too. Oh, okay, so it's glowy on its own, which is a bonus. <laughs> now it is super light coverage. Like you can still see the redness in my cheeks. You can still see all my, you know, spots and whiteheads and scarring and shiz, but it definitely looks more even. And I don't know if it's just me. I am gonna try put a tiny bit more just on my cheeks and see if it kind of covers the redness. I feel like fingers is probably the best way to go with this product. Just because like, 
The beauty blenders, I feel like they sheer out products and you wouldn't want this any more sheer. <laughs> okay, no, it did not take away the redness, but it definitely made it look more smooth. I don't know, it just makes my skin look a little bit happier without covering a ton. So I think it must be the glow, the tiny, like lightest coverage, but it looks like really healthy and I look a little more even. I kind of like this a lot. <laughs> I know it's like, does it really do anything? But I just feel like my skin looks so supple. <laughs> supple? Okay. Anyway, I do like that. Okay, we'll see how it wears. Next we're gonna go with concealer. This concealer is very hyped. It is the Stretch Concealer. Now this is the shade Light Clair again. Also do not think you light enough for me, but it is, so that's a bonus. This is a very glowy concealer. I have tried this once or twice and it is super thin, super light, very hydrating. Now I'm gonna try it a couple different ways. I do see Katie Jane Hughes using it with this Real Techniques setting brush, which I did try. Um, so we're gonna do this on one eye and then I'm gonna use my fingers on the other eye. So I am going to try it with my fingers first and we'll do it under this eye here. So I got a little bit of my ring finger here. And okay, you know what? This does remind me a slight amount of the NYX um, Gotcha Covered in the texture. It's a little stickier like that one is, but again, it's actually a lot um, lighter coverage. Now, oh, hey, this is actually, I thought this kind of blended itself. <laughs> I'm so used to like having to go in and like really massage it in to make it look good, but that just like really did the work itself almost. I mean, obviously I did the work, but it was really easy to blend in. <laughs> this is the difference. This side has it, this side does not. There is definitely a difference. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not like there's no dark circles over here, but like compared to that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my setting brush. Okay. Now this is definitely feeling a little different. Okay. I have to be honest, I think I liked it better with my finger, but I do remember that Katie Jane Hughes actually uses this brush with the concealer. Actually, she used um, Willita Skin Food, which is like a really hydrating, thick, greasy almost cream. So it kind of makes sense. Like she wouldn't need the extra moisture and actually using it with the brush kind of takes down the dewiness of the concealer almost in a way, which is definitely better for staying powder, power, powder, power. <laughs> um, yeah, so I feel like this side looks a tiny bit more glowy than this side, but yeah, not crazy amount actually. It, it looks pretty similar, but dang, that was pretty easy to blend out too. So here is it like up close and personal. So as you can see, there's a really nice glow going on, very light coverage. You can still see my dark circles, but it just looks a little bit healthier. <laughs> looks like I just drank a lot more water, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like I am someone who has really dry under eyes, so I'm always kind of worried about things looking crepey and cakey and just like accentuating dry patches but this really doesn't do that and I kind of dig it. So I like that a lot. Now, I'm gonna try it on my zits. I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll go into it with an idea. It might. I have a couple little guys up here on my hairline. Beautiful, I know. That actually wasn't too bad. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Mm, actually, no. No, you can still see them. It's not terrible. Like, it definitely looks better, but I think we're still gonna go in with Boing um, to cover up the zits, just, you know, because this isn't quite high enough coverage. But under the eyes, which is definitely what I'll be using this for mostly, I really like this so far. <laughs> I'm just gonna go off camera real quick. I'm just gonna apply my Boing concealer. I'll be right back. So while all those face products are kind of sinking in, I'm gonna use the Boy Brow. Now, this is the color Clear, <laughs> which I don't think is the most popular product um, at least in YouTube videos, because people usually like the colored ones, which I definitely will try in the future, but since I have so many colored brow products, I decided to get clear because I was in desperate need of a clear brow gel. I actually use a lot on top of like my NYX um, waterproof brow gel or my Benefit Cabrow, and I really like this. Now it does add a couple fibers, but it does really hold the brows in place. Um, which I am a big fan of. So I think today we're actually just gonna use it clear and see how it looks clear. If I wanna go back in with color, I might, but 
probably won't happen, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just not really feeling like doing my brows right now, but we shall see. The spoolie here is quite loaded in the product, which I don't love, I'm not gonna lie. Like I actually see a lot of YouTubers just doing this, which is just kind of getting the excess off, just because you don't want that much product on first application. Like in my opinion, it's better to go less than more all at once, you know, like build it up. So I'm just gonna put this to my brows and we shall see, I mean, it's gonna be clear but we're gonna see what it does to kind of keep them in place, make them look nicer, you know. So it definitely has a little bit of a white, um, <laughs> ish kind of going on. And that's just the fibers. Um, but you can easily, easily blend that out. It really is just when you first apply it and that's just because it's the gel and the fibers kind of mixing. Now, I am definitely a fan of the boy brow look. Like, I really like how bushy they look. And I don't know if you can tell the difference between these two eyebrows already. It's insane. Like, it's, it's honestly insane. I don't know if it's just me, but this one looks so much better. <laughs> this one looks like it's trying really hard, but it's just not making the cut, you know? So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other brow, and then I'll show you the finished look. So something else I really like about the boy brow is actually the uh, softness of the brush. My Essence one, though I love it, the brush is so scratchy. And I just don't dig that. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but then I used this and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that, you know, these spoolies can actually be soft. <laughs> Again though, I would say definitely scrape off that excess because it can be a lot even for the clear one. So as I'm sitting here talking to you, I can feel them cementing in place. I mean, I know some people don't like that feeling, but for me, as someone with like really thick, unruly brows, I like that feeling because it makes me realize like, yep, don't worry. Again, we're gonna see how they stay in place, but they just look really nice, even just clear. Oh, also, updating the lip balm, it's still there. And it feels really nice, actually. The shine has definitely gone away, but it feels really good. I'm gonna have a sip of tea though, because I was waiting until it all kind of sank in. That's like a really nice, like while you're getting ready kind of lip balm because, oh, my dog wants to come in. Hang on, hold the phone. You just wanna say hi? Look, <laughs> I have been told that we look a lot of alike. Can you look at the camera? It's because of the haircut. <laughs> Dana was like, you know that saying when the dog and the human eventually start to look the same? And I was like, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I am very sorry about the probably draft change in location. Uh, my camera battery died. <laughs> so if I question how much I usually talk, uh, obviously it's a lot. <laughs> we only have a couple products left, I promise. So we're gonna go with some blush. This is a cloud paint. I have the shade Dusk, which is kind of like a beigey, neutral, slight peach kind of color. I thought I'd start out with the neutral one because I knew I'd use it a lot and kind of see what I thought about the formula. I have used this quite a few times and I gotta say, I really like it. <laughs> I really, really like this. Now I see a lot of people on YouTube using their beauty blender with cloud paints and to me, I don't like it with a beauty blender. I like just to apply it with my fingers and I'm not really sure if it's because this is a more neutral color, so it's not as crazy pigmented. Or if it's just the fact that I use lighter base products, like Tinted Moisturizer, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like full coverage matte foundations that like can break up a lot easier maybe. But in my experience, the fingers have been the best way to apply this. So I take about that much, which is probably enough. So then I just kind of like tap my fingers together and then I just go ahead and apply. Now, I know you'll probably be freaking out right now because it is color, you know, but it really blends nicely. And I feel like tapping is way better than like massaging for some reason. <laughs> I think it's again, the um, disturbingness of the products underneath. It just looks like a nice light flush. Now you might be able to use this as a bronzer as well. Um, I usually kind of take it in this area too, just to kind of give me that overall glow and healthy look. But I just really like how this applies and how easy that is for me. Actually, it applies really nicely on top of the skin tint, but yeah, I just really like that color. I think it's really pretty. So if you are kind of someone who likes a really natural glowy blush, I would check these out. I really want to get more colors. <laughs> okay, next we have the Halo Scope. 
Now, this is, again, a cult favorite. These two cheek products, I feel like, are really, really good sellers for them. I have mine in the shade Quartz, which is kind of like the slightly more pinky, more like just a nice, beigey, pinky, champagne, that's the word, champagne kind of color. Now, I have tried applying it straight from the tube. Don't like that. I just feel like it really is sticky and it kind of just moves things around and I just don't like that. <laughs> so what I do is the anaesthetic technique, um, which is applying it on the fingers like this, just like I did with the blush, and then just popping it on. Oh yeah, girl, do you see that glow? Do you see that glow? Dang, dang, and that was just so easy. Like, it doesn't look like a big, you know, stripe of highlight, which is what I really like, because ain't nobody got time for a stripe, you know what I'm saying? This one actually does remind me a lot of the Smashbox one, but a little more sheer. So, you know, take that for what you will. I really like it. <laughs> I love the glossy look. That's the whole point of the brand though, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> now the last product I'm gonna apply is their Generation G lipstick. I have mine in the shade Crush. Uh, this is such a pretty, like, kind of berry, punch color. It's like the perfect summer color for me. I am going to apply it on top of the lip balm because I feel like it has sunk in enough, um, but we'll see if that disrupts it. I do like this color a lot and I like the formula a lot by itself, but we'll see how it works on top of the lip balm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Actually, it feels really nice on top of lip balm. Let me just show you this up close. Isn't that pretty? I really like it. Again, it's one of those colors like, oh, it adds a little bit of color, but it's not like too much of a statement. I don't know what to say, but yeah, I really like it. Now these are definitely a little bit of a different formula. Like, they're not glossy. They are like a matte sheer balm. But the thing I love about these is it just kind of wears away on its own. It doesn't look like it's left behind like, you know, a line on your lips or hasn't crumbled away. It just kind of wears away nicely and evenly. And I really appreciate that because you don't even have to worry about it. I really want to get, again, more shades of this. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Dang, okay. So we're just gonna go through the products one by one and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on this. So we're gonna start off with the Priming Moisturizer. I actually really like this. <laughs> I'm surprised. I usually don't like thin moisturizers, but the fact that you can layer this up, I really appreciate. Um, I did love the instant glow it gave my skin like that to me. I could just wear it on its own and look a lot more alive, which again, I like. <laughs> very hydrating, not very much of a scent. It did feel a little bit kind of tingly in certain areas, but that's just where I've been having irritation more recently, so I think it's just that. But it looks nice, it went on really well, and also, you know, it was a great base for the products. Okay, now going on to the lip balm. I love this, I love this. I can't believe how amazing this like felt on my lips, how easy it was. It wasn't sticky, it wasn't glossy, just, you know, moisturized and just did its job. And I really appreciate that. So now going on to the Lid Star. I actually just looked in the mirror here, and neither of them have creased. If anything, actually, there might be a tiny bit more creasing on the primed eye, not the non-primed eye, which I think is kind of funny. It must be something to do with the chemistry of these two items, but I will stick by what I said. I really like this just on its own, no primer. It is, again, a very sheer wash of color. It allows me to wear purple without making it look crazy. Statement is like a good beginner purple. <laughs> So next up is Lash Slick. Now, I still also like this mascara. The only thing about it is the flaking. I've already had flaking from it around my concealer. So that's kind of like, you know, but as I said, pretty much every mascara I've tried to my memory has flaked. So it's not a deal breaker for me. I do really like the formula. I like how it actually is a tubing formula. So when you take it off with warm water, it just kind of comes right off, which is really easy. Um, but again, I also like how it's not gonna like <laughs> move around too much if I start to cry while I laugh. <laughs> Next we have the skin tint. This, okay, let me take a look. It still looks really nice on my skin and I'm very surprised. I thought that it might kind of start to crepe up a little bit, but no, it really felt hydrating and thin, but also blended seamlessly into my skin. Again, super, super light coverage, but if that's what you're looking for, 
I think you might really like this. Concealer wise, really like this concealer. This might be my favorite product actually. <laughs> just because it's so easy to blend, it doesn't accentuate any dry patches. I just love the glow under my eyes right now, but it still looks bright. But yeah, again, I love to apply it with my fingers and I think it's such a great, especially beginner makeup product. Also really like boy brow, even the clear one. My brows, they look really nice. I don't see any kind of clumping. You know what I talked about, like the little white bits? Those are gone, so it must have, you know, left as I was, you know, blending and also when it dried. Brows stay in place, they're feeling like they're in place, <laughs> and it works well on its own or on top of other products. Moving into Cloud Paint, I love this. Like, the glow this gives to my skin, the easy blendability of it, the just, like, healthy flush it gives my skin. I just, like, can't stop looking at it. Like, I, I really like it. <laughs> the Halo Scope I actually really like as well. Now, I don't feel like this is the only product like this. Like, it is pretty similar to other stick highlighters I have. One of the differences, though, is it is a bit more tacky. So, it does feel a little bit more like it's stuck in place, um, which is a good thing, in my opinion. It's a little bit more hydrating in that way because of the core of, you know, hydrating products in the middle. I like this a lot. <laughs> and the last item, of course, is a Generation G lipstick. I really like this lipstick. It's like the easiest lipstick to wear <laughs> ever because again, the wearability of it, the way it looks, and I love how it went so well on top of the bomb.com. Like that to me is amazing. So that's everything for this video. I love the way this look turned out. I love how effortless it looks, but still it makes me look healthy. It makes me look alive. I know this video is like a huge love to Glossier, but I'm not gonna cover up my true opinions. Like, this is my true thoughts. I gave you all the knowledge I know about the products and hopefully from that you can choose whether you think it's for you. Obviously, no one has the exact same makeup taste, but from what I like and, you know, what I've experienced so far, I am really, really in love. So yes, <laughs> I am such a basic person, but that's cool. I'm okay with that. Grandma Maggie is okay with being basic. <laughs> Thanks for joining with this very, very long video. <laughs> but yeah, I love you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.